Hi, in this video we are going to introduce exponential functions. So, parent exponential function is defined as f of x equals b to the power x, where x is going to be all any real number and b is called the base, and the base has to be positive and cannot equal 1. It has to be positive because when you raise um, a number to a, uh, uh, an exponent, the number has to be defined as a positive number, otherwise you're going to have issue with certain exponents, like you can start getting uh, imaginary number. The value of the base cannot be 1, because if you make it 1, then it's going to be 1 to any power is 1, and it's not really an exponential uh, function any longer, okay? Uh, every parent exponential function is a monotonic function, which means it's either increasing, it's going to increase when the value of b is greater than 1, or decreasing, when the value of b is between 0 and 1. So, the domain of any exponential function, as I already mentioned, is all real numbers, so negative infinity to infinity. The range of all parent exponential functions is going to be from 0 to infinity. Every parent exponential function also has a horizontal asymptote. and it also has no x-intercept as a result. Except, okay. And also every parent exponential function is going to have a y-intercept at the point 0, 1. Because if you substitute 0 in here, anything to the power of 0 is going to give you 1. So let's take a look at some problems. I already pre-made tables. So we're going to try to graph 2 to the power x. So when you graph 2 to the power x, you are going to have um, these numbers, and let's start with positive numbers. So 2 to the third power gives us 8, 2 to the second power gives us 4, 2 to the first power gives us 2, 2 to the power of 0 is 1, 2 to the power of negative 1 is 1 half, 2 to the power of negative 2 is 1 fourth, and 2 to the power Negative 3 is going to be 1, 8. Please note that all the numbers are positive. Right? Okay. So, we we'll plot the point. And let's see. So, at 3, we're at 8. 2, 4, 6, 8. At 2, we're at 4. At 1, we're at 2. 0, 1, and then it's a half, a fourth, and an eighth. Right? So what we have here is a graph that's going to go like that, and it's going to start rising here. And over here is going to approach, this is our horizontal asymptote. And as you can see, it matches all the conditions that I brought up on the previous slide. Okay, so the base here is 2, it's greater than 1, and this function is an increasing function. Alright. 3 to the power x, how is that going to be different? Okay, 3 to the power 3 is 27. 3 to the power 2 is 9. Let me go back to... I'm just using a pen for graphs. 27, 9... 3 to the first power is 3, to the 3 to the power 0 is 1, 3 to the power of negative 1 is 1 third, 3 to the power of negative 2 is 1 ninth, and 3 to the power of negative 3 is 1 27th. Right? Let's go ahead and plot these points. I, I, I don't have enough room here to plot 327, it's way up there. For 2 it's 9, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. For 3, it's going to be uh, 1. I'm sorry, for 1, it's 3. For 0, it's 1. Then we're going to have 1 third. 1 ninth. It's going to, I mean, you see it starts approaching uh, on this side even faster, approaching 0. Okay, and here's our graph again. Uh, the graph is going to approach 0 when we go to the left and it's going to rise very fast when we go to the right. 
So you see it's very similar to the graph that we just saw except because it, this one has a higher base then we have um, a graph that's going to rise faster on the right but everything else is the same. The main range, uh, horizontal asymptote. Okay, how about three halves to the power x? Okay, well first of all three half is a number greater than one so this is also going to be an increasing function, all right? So we do three half to the power of three, let me just show you how you're supposed to do it. So three halves to the power of three is going to be three to the power of three over two to the power of three, which is gonna give you 27 over eight. We're gonna write that as a decimal because when we graph it, it's gonna be easier for us to do that. So 27 divided by eight is going to be about 3.4. To the second power is going to be 9 fourths. 9 fourths is about 2 point something. 9 divided by 4 is 2.25. At 1 is going to be 3 halves, which is 1.5. At 0 is going to be 1 again. At negative 1 is going to be 2 thirds because you're going to have to start flipping the numbers. Here is going to be 4 ninths. And here is going to be 927. I'm sorry, 8, 827. Let me rewrite this 8 over 27. Okay, so this is about 0.7. This is about 4 nines is 0 0.4. And 8 over 27 is going to be about 0 0.3. So we're going to plot these points. Now you have to plot decimals but it should not be a problem. So at 3 we have about 2, 3, 3.4. At 2 we're about 2.25. At 1 we we're at 1.5. Uh, here we we're at 0. At negative 1 we we're at 2 thirds. And over here we're about 0.4. 0.3 so the, the graph does the same thing only because the base here is a little bit closer to what is it going to be at 4 here let's see because we do have some room here so at 4 when x is 4 it's going to be uh, 64 divided by 64 divided by uh, 16 right no no hold on, it's not 64 it's uh, 3, it's 81, 81 over 16, 3 to, three to the 4th is 81, 2 to the 4th is 16, so 81 divided by 16 is uh, a little over 5, so it's 5.1 5 approximately. So we can also do another point here, so 1, 2, 3, 2, 4, 5.1, so about here. And you can see that this graph does not rise quite as fast, but it's still going to rise. And you can add more points just to have a better idea where the other points are going to be. So it's more precise. All right. One half to the power x. Okay, so now our base is less than one. And we uh, should remember that this is going to be a graph that's going to decrease. So you do one half to the power of three. That's one eighth. 1 half to the power of 2 is 1 fourth, 1 eighth to the power of 1 is 1 half, 1 half to the power of 0 is 1. Here when you do 1 half to the power of negative 1, it's going to flip the number and it's going to give you 2. This one's going to be 4, this one's going to give you 8. Um, if you go back to the uh, table for 2 to the power x, you should uh, probably realize that these numbers are reversed. They flipped from one side to the other. Let's see what the graph is going to look like. So at negative 3 we're at 8, 2, 4, 6, 8. At negative 2 it's 4. At negative 1 it's 2. 0, 1, 1 half, 1 fourth, 1 eighth. So you can see that this graph is almost like it flipped around the about the y-axis if you compare it with the graph of 2 to the power x. 
Okay. And this one's decreasing. Okay. Because the base is less than one. Three fours to the power x. Things are last one. So three fours to the power x. We're gonna do three fours to the power of three. That's going to give us uh, 27 over 64. 27 divided by 64 is approximately 0.4. To the second power, this is going to be 9 sixteenths. 9 sixteenths is approximately 0.56, so 0.6. At 1, it's going to be 3 fourths, which is 0.75. At 0, it's 1, as always. At negative 1, we flipped our, our fraction, so it's going to be 4 third, uh, which is about 1.3. At negative 2, since it's still also negative, we're going to flip it and it's going to be 16 ninths. And 16 ninths is going to be approximately 1.7, 1.8, I should say. And at 3, it's going to be 64. 27 so 64 divided by 27 is going to give us approximately 2.5 right. let's plot these points start on this side so at negative 3 we're about 2.5 roughly at uh, negative 2 we're about 1.7 that's 1.3 1, .7. That's 1 here we're going to have 0 0.75, 0 0.6, 0 0.4. So if you want, you can add another point on the left to see which, you know, to be more precise with how it curves. If I try to do it at negative 4, then it's going to be 3 fourths to the power of negative 4, which is going to give us 4 to the fourth power is uh, 256 divided by 3 to the 4th power which is 81 so 256 divided by 81 gives us about 3.16 so here we're going to be at 3.16 and of course you can always add more points and make it ever more accurate so this graph is going to look like this and there we are that's it